Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying some Olipop. I have the Dr. Goodwin. Uh, this is the cream soda and this is the Barbie peaches and cream. These were bought at Sprouts Farmer's Market. They mm -hmm. were $2 each. Uh, we are in, on vacation, so we're yeah. not in our... Uh, we didn't buy a new house. We didn't buy a new house. <laughs> this, uh, we're on vacation, and so we uh, were thrilled to death to be able to visit Sprouts because we don't have one in our area of Central Kentucky. No, no, no. And so it was a... Uh, cool new place for us to visit and find these drinks we do have a review of a lot of flavors of olipop on the channel if you do a search tammy down olipop you'll see those so these were ones we saw that we had not reviewed so this is uh, the dr goodwin a new kind of soda non-gmo three grams of sugar per can it says prebiotics botanicals plant fiber supports digestive health Olipop combines the classic soda you know and love with prebiotics, plant fiber, and botanicals to support your microbiome and digestive health. Finally, a refreshing soda that's actually good for you. Crack open a swift kick of boldly refreshing, refreshing flavors. Dr. Goodwin is a head-on collision of ingredients like rich plums sweet prunes and zesty tart cherries mm. with a touch of pure vanilla extract for a true soda enigma the doctor would actually order this is vegan and paleo it is 45 calories for the can and it has five percent juice and you buy these refrigerated and you keep them refrigerated yeah, it looks uh, peachy almost. It does look peachy, but we're going to taste, hopefully, plums, prunes, and cherries, and vanilla. <coughs> that is not the soda. That is not a Coca-Cola, by the way. <laughs> mm -hmm. It smells good. It smells like cherry, honestly, more than anything. I really like that. It's very sweet. It's not bad. It's not something I would get all the time. There's a little bit of an aftertaste that's a little, not bad, it's just different. I like it quite a bit. It's not bad. And I do taste everything they said. Mm -hmm. You, I taste like, like while you're drinking it, you'll get one flavor. But then now that it's over, I'm kind of getting the flavor of the prunes. Yeah. But I like prune juice. I, I think it's good. Uh, some people don't like that at all. But you do get that. But it's like... I get vanilla, too. Yeah, you get the vanilla. Yeah. Um, it's sweet. It's not like a candy or something like that. But it is a sweeter drink. It doesn't remind me of a like a, a soda. Mm -hmm. um, but I could drink that all the time. It's not like a fruit drink or anything like that it's it's very unique they, yes. when they say it's unique they mean it's unique but you do get the cherry flavor yeah, you do bit, get yeah. all of those flavors yeah. i think that that's a good combination of flavors it's okay for me okay so now this one is the cream soda which we love, love cream soda. soda this is 40 calories it has less than one percent juice makes sense it says, uh, better than spooning fluffy sweet marshmallow cream straight out of the jar, our cream soda blends irresistibly decadent natural vanilla flavors with premium pure vanilla extract for a sumptuous smooth soda you'll savor. Okay. I'm expecting, yeah, clear. I figured it would be clear. Yep. Sometimes they're, well, it's slightly, slightly off clear. Mm, there's a nice vanilla flavor. That is really nice. I do get like that, um, that marshmallow type flavor. Yeah, a little bit. We have had that flavor uh, before. There's something though, you know, the aftertaste for the first one was, for me, it was a little bitter. Mm -hmm. That one's come across a little bitter as an aftertaste. And I thought it was the first one, I thought it was, well, it could be the vanilla in this one too, because they both have vanilla in them. Um, maybe it's the vanilla they're using that's just a little bitter. I, I'm more sensitive to some bitters than, than Tammy is. For right. me, it comes through as just a little bit bitter aftertaste. Right. Not bad. If, again, it's not bad. It's not if, great. But. 
if I needed to uh, to drink, if I needed something to support my digestive health, yeah, or plant based, or plant based, or you know, all or, that. Sorry, plant fiber. It's not plant, plant based. fiber. Um, well, one of them said uh, gluten free too. I saw on on the back right here. It says gluten free, oh. vegan, okay, it and is paleo. Vegan. Okay, yeah, so it vegan, is vegan and paleo. This Both one of them is are. okay. Um, and gluten free. Right. So if you care about that, if you have that lifestyle, then no. I would drink that it's for sure. Man. I would drink that. I don't. There's nothing wrong with that whatsoever. No. Okay. So this is the Barbie peaches and cream, and it says a sippable homage to the peaches and cream Barbie doll. Our soda captures her timeless, vibrant, and sweet, but not too sweet spirit with an unforgettable fusion of real peach juice, deep, full-bodied vanilla and white peach gummy flavor. So go ahead, crack it open, and celebrate the magic and joy the iconic doll has brought countless hearts over the years, and oh yeah, and make your sweet tooth very happy too. So this is also gluten-free, vegan, paleo. This has 17% juice, oh, wow. which is good. Yeah. And it is 50 calories, so this is the highest calorie one. These oh, so. are, um, manufactured in Oakland, California, and their website is www.drinkollipop.com. I actually had peaches and green barbie. Yeah, but well you had them all. She, uh, this is clear. I had the one, uh, I don't know what version, I, there, I don't know if there's been other versions, but I had the one, of course, back in the 80s, and she had a, she had like a white top, and then the bottom, uh, was very frilly I'm and it was long it and it was peach. Um, it, it, it was, it was so a really nice. it based on the outfit she was wearing? Basically it's, ba yes. Basically the Barbies are based on the outfit she had on. Yes. And so, yeah, that was her outfit. Like candy cane Barbie being red and white. <laughs> if there was such a thing. They do different hairstyles Same. and yeah. stuff like that. They'll put different earrings in their ear. They'll put different sure. accessories in their hair. You'll have different shoes. Um, but you know, basically, or at least back then, they, you know, they didn't look that much different. Mm -hmm. It was all about the clothes. There was no different figure shapes and sizes and stuff like no, that. No, they, they were all the all same, same Barbie. the same size. I liked the size back then, um, but that that's what I grew up with. So that's what I was used to, so. It's very peachy. Very peachy, yeah. yes. So bad. I actually like that better than all the rest of them because I didn't get a kind of like that bitter aftertaste. So it had to have been the vanilla in the first two. That was giving me that little bitterness because mm -hmm. I didn't get it with that one. This, um, it, um, if you've ever had like the clear American peach, it's not that's like it's that's not that strong. That's a but, candy peach. Right. This, uh, this is a nice peach, but it's not like candy, but it does taste like a, more like a natural peach, mm -hmm. I guess, because it has 17%. Oh, yeah. So it does taste like a natural peach. But it doesn't taste like peaches in like heavy syrup. Right. No. You're not getting that level of, of sweet. Um, so that is your first place. Only because these other ones are bitter. If if okay. they they weren't bitter, I would probably pick the cream soda. Okay. But but if since it does end on a little bitter note, I would probably pick the peach. Although personally, I wouldn't buy any three of these. Any of these. Why is that? Bitter and a little peachy. <laughs> okay, so you would just rather have something else. Yeah, completely. they have yeah. other flavors that, that I like. That right. Too, so. Um, so your order, what is your order one, two, three? Backwards. Okay, my order is going to be the cream soda number one, mm -hmm. Dr. Goodwin number two, oh, really? and the peaches and cream number three. Yeah. Dr. Goodwin was yeah. okay. Yeah, I really like the Dr. Goodwin. Yeah. I thought it was nice. Uh, and a complete surprise, because I didn't know what to yeah. it. Like, well, it's completely unique. It? So. Yeah, and I hadn't read the cans to see what it was supposed to be. So, uh, yeah, these were very fun to try. I'm mm -hmm. glad we got the opportunity, because the Olipop, I had looked around in like the Fresh Market and Whole Foods, I didn't see it when I checked, so I'm glad that we were able to find it in Sprouts. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll have a pictures. Pictures That's is the best we can the do. best we can do because uh, we are on vacation, so I, I don't have my normal camera with me, my my big camera. So I'll take what I can take. But I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.